This is going to be a special installment broadcast for eddycurrent.com. For those of you that follow my channel, you know that I have an extensive library on non-destructive testing and specifically electromagnetic testing and eddy current, books, manuals, reports. And I take great pride in having such a great library. Now, some books have a title that just begs you to read them, right? One of those is Think and Grow Rich. This is 1950 copy, right? It's still in really nice shape. It's like nobody ever went through it. Now, if you saw a title like this and you thought it were true, Think and Grow Rich, wouldn't you want to maybe get that book and read it? I read this book a lot. Then there's another one. It's got a catchy title, The Power of Ambition. I read that a lot. This fuels me in all my endeavors. But we do have one more here. I just picked this one up yesterday. Principles of Magnaflux Inspection. I guess it's from Magnaflux Corp. I just got it yesterday. I didn't get a lot of time to go through it, but this is from 1945. It's got some cool graphics in it, but... One thing that really stuck out was this cool picture of this dude with a pipe doing inspection of a butt weld using a U-shaped contactor. It almost looks kind of like photoshopped. I mean, does that look like a real hand to you? Or a pipe? I don't know. Did they have Photoshop back then? Anyway, I tend to, I, I intend to look in this book because there's a lot of good basic fundamental knowledge. And again, again, the problem with a lot of these books, let me just grab a little book off of my bookshelf. This is the 1959 Non-Destructive Testing Handbook from as t edited by Robert McMaster, one of the biggest fans of all time of non-destructive testing. Previously owned this particular book, Robert McClung. He was very involved in uh, non-destructive testing, and had a lot to do with, uh, you know, the, the knowledge that we have today was a lot due to some of his work. But look at the pristine condition of this book. It's like brand new. It probably mostly sat on Robert's shelf. Of course, he probably had two or three other working copies that were completely worn through all the pages. This was just his display copy. That's my guess. Now... I have that same book with the original dusk jackets, right? So, you know, I snapped that up and I have about 10 copies of this two volume set. And I specifically bought this one because it had the dusk jacket. And I'm like, wow, that's kind of rare, right? But remember what I said about catchy titles, think and grow rich. Wouldn't you want to try that out? Let me just read some of the highlights off of the dusk jacket that let the potential reader know what is in these pages of this book. This is the first comprehensive and authoritative treatment of the basic technology of non-destructive testing. This can be like a little book club review, right? We talk about policies, principles, applications, methods, equipment, specifications, indications, and interpretation. Wow, that sounds like a pretty big menu of items. Again, it was edited by Robert C. McMaster, the professor of welding engineering at Ohio State University and past president of ASNT, the American Society for Non-Destructive Testing. He was the president so far back, it was before they even called it the American Society for Non-Destructive Testing. It was just the Society for Non-Destructive Testing. So I guess we just SNT back then. Now, how many people contributed to this book? A board of 106 contributing and consulting editors. That sounds like an important book if you got that many important contributors. So now, we're going to continue to read the dust jacket. See if maybe you want to check into getting this book. This book was prepared under the auspices of the Society for Non-Destructive Testing with a board of 106 contributing and consulting editors. Designed for all who have an interest in the management, engineering, or research of testing in the production 
processing or maintenance phases of any industry. This handbook presents a complete and authoritative treatment of all major methods of non-destructive testing, enabling the measurement of significant properties, the detection of discontinuities, and the prediction of performance capabilities without impairing serviceability. Book is integrated. This handbook is the first large-scale international effort to bring together all of the vital non-destructive testing information in a single reference work, fusing principles and data derived from the most of the basic and engineering sciences, such as physics, chemistry, metallurgy, optics, radiology, and electrical, mechanical, civil, and aeronautical engineering. It provides a full explanation of industrial testing operations for use in industrial practice, engineering education, and technical training. The book's also comprehensive. A full explanation is offered in this one monumental work. And it's monumental. I mean, I'm getting tired holding it already. Monumental work of the fundamental principles and policies of non-destructive testing the evaluation of tests for specific applications, the detailed analysis of all basic test methods and equipment, and the sound interpretation of test indications. This provides all the knowledge of non-destructive testing required to develop the programs and solve the problems of modern industrial testing. Test selection charts furnish expert guidance on the best testing methods for given types of materials and defects. This book draws together dependable information from such significant and widely scattered sources as professional journals, society meetings, committee reports, standard books, company research, and operating data, and records and reports designers and users of testing equipment. But that's not all. We got to go to the back cover. This book is authoritative. This book reflects throughout the vast experience and the informed judgment of its editorial board. And over a hundred prominent scientific and engineering specialists active in the field of non-destructive testing. The evaluations presented are derived from the experience of the Society for Non-Destructive Testing and its cooperative efforts with such other authoritative organizations as the American Society for Testing Materials, and the American Standards Association, so that the book provides the most definitive and reliable treatment available of all phases of non-destructive testing. I mean, that'd be enough to get me to buy this book already, but there's more. It's versatile, logically organized in 54 coordinated sections, abundantly illustrated with charts, drawings, forms, and photographs, and supplying much standard data in tables and graphs. The handbook is fully cross-referenced and indexed to provide immediate access to the knowledge needed on any phase of testing policy or procedure. It details innumerable cases of test applications, illustrates varied specimens of test indications, and provides guides for test specifications and interpretations. The book frequently demonstrates how industrial tests can be mechanized or completely automated by proper application of non-destructive testing principles, techniques, and equipment. It opens countless avenues for cost reduction and accident prevention. This book presents much valuable data on test application and interpretation for the first time, particularly in such advancing field as penetrating radiation, magnetic field, eddy current, and ultrasonic testing, offering savings of countless hours and dollars which might otherwise be spent on test evaluation, research, and experimentation. Now, before I move on to the last paragraph here, you know, this is an old book, right? 1959, which means a lot of material that went into it was, um, you know, developed, learned, processed in the 1950s. But this was a groundbreaking work. And each time a book like this gets revised, you got to take some of the old out to make room for the new. I got that from Jill Ross from ASNT. And there is so much basic fundamental knowledge in here. And having Robert McMaster as the editor, the biggest fan of non-destructive testing of all time, there's a gold mine of information in here. 
that has been lost to time. So this is an absolutely great book. I think it should be reprinted, you know, so people can really get back to the roots of some of these basic NDT um, methods. All right, moving on, practical. This book is immediately usable and valuable non-destructive test applications can be made in any industry. Did I read that right? Immediately usable and valuable non-destructive test applications can be made in any industry. Non-destructive tests have proven how effectively they can implement production cost control and assure product integrity and serviceability in many competitive markets. These tests lead to better utilization of engineering materials, decreased losses of production time, and help to maintain high productivity. They decrease maintenance time and cost and increase the safety and service life of equipment. The book furnishes constant guidance for managers, engineers, scientists, and technicians at every level and offers practical programs and reliable solutions no matter what the particular testing problem or approach contributing to greater profits in industry. Now, isn't that what every business uh, has for a goal? Make money? Oh, gosh. There's more even the back cover. I better read that since this is the book club. All right. Materials Handling Handbook. It sounds like this is going to be some type of review, maybe. Harold Boltz, editor of... Edit, wait. Harold Boltz, editor, and George Hageman, associate editor with 84 contributing consulting editors sponsored by the American Society of Mechanical Engineers and the American Material Handling Society. The only integrated treatment of materials handling, this handbook is once authoritative and definitive. I had to tape this together because it was a little bit ripped because of all of use over time, so I might be missing a few weird sir, words here. All right, governing covering all of the important aspects of material handling from analysis of requirements to installation and operation of systems and equipment in 47 coordinated sections. It presents accepted principles, standards, procedures, and methods, tested engineering data, and practical examples from the operating experience of broad segments of industry. This book classifies and describes the standard types of material handling equipment, analyzes the engineering specifications, and compares the operating capabilities of each type. It provides the facts needed to avoid costly errors and time-consuming research in solving operating and policy problems relating to all phases of material handling. Then the production handbook, second edition. Oh, you know what? So these are other books, I guess, offered from the Ronald Press Company. All right. I'm going to skip this last one here because this book is all about the non-destructive testing handbook. Now, again, there are some books you should definitely read. You think and grow rich. There you go. Got the power of ambition. And finally, the two-volume set of the NDT handbook. Before I close, what's the difference between volume one and two? Let's check it out. Volume one, which is the one I'm holding. Uh, let's see, we got management and application of tests. NDT laboratories, field maintenance tests, fundamental testing principles, basic test methods. And then you got liquid penetrant, filtered particle test, vision and optics. That's an interesting one, vision and optics. That's, that's some information in there that probably got lost to time. Very interesting. Visual inspection equipment, optical projectors and comparators, radiation and particle physics, Electronic radiation sources, isotopes, x-rays, all that good stuff. Fluoroscopy, x-ray, zero radiography. Um, let's move over to volume two. Volume two is my favorite. Now it starts off with electrified particle tests. It gets into magnetic particle test, principles, equipment, electric current test variables, and there's my favorite. Eddy current test principles, eddy current cylinder test, tube test, sphere and sheet test, test equipment, test automation, test indications. Guess who authored most of that? You guessed it, Dr. Forrester, the father of modern eddy current testing. This is all of his groundbreaking work. 
And if you've ever seen those complicated, complex impedance plane diagram graphs on an exam, this is where they're all at. If you need some proof, I'll just go through a couple pages. Maybe I gotta go back farther. There we go. See all those graphs? What would you do to get your hands on those? Right? You gotta go to the source. Volume 2 of the NDT Handbook, 1959 edition. All right. That concludes today's eddycurrent.com book club. I'll be making future installments of this in the future. Thanks for watching.